So you might be trying to figure out how you can import your DS BIOS files inside of the Delta emulator. Now, doing this is actually fairly basic and it really doesn't take too much time at all. So the very first thing you want to do is you want to go and make your way over to your Safari browser or internet browser, wherever you have. And what you're going to want to do is you want to Google this particular link. All you want to do is Google GitHub DS files right here. So you can just go and Google that. Now, what you're going to want to do is you want to go and find this GitHub link, which says something, something, something like compilation bias for various, whatever. As long as it says RetroArch, you're pretty much good to go. So what you want to do when you're in this link is you want to go and scroll down here and you want to find the one that particular says the DS one. So you want to keep scrolling. You can find the one that works the best for you. So in this case, it's a little hard to tell. So you may have to scroll down this way, but you should be able to see it somewhere. As long as it says DS, then that's the one you want to click on. So for us, it's right here. And then all you're going to want to do here is just basically scroll over until you find these three BIOS files right here. So all you want to do is you can just click on the download link. So you can just tap on it here. So all you're going to want to do is tap onto each file, just like this. You then want to go ahead and once you tap on it, just like so, you want to click on the three dots on the top right corner and you want to go and click download. So it's going to allow you to download each one of these files. So just go through and just download each one. So once all the files are downloaded, you want to scroll down until you get into your Delta emulator. And you want to go and click on the settings application or settings port on the top right corner, top left corner, sorry. <laughs> and then what you want to do here, and I'm going to go and zoom out for the right base of this video. You want to go and scroll down until you see your BIOS files, where you see like the Nintendo DS core files or core settings, which is right here. You want to go and tap on it. And right here at the very bottom, all you want to do is tap on each individual one. And you want to find those BIOS files that we downloaded, which is right here. And you want to go ahead and bring in the exact ones that we just had. So the BIOS7.bin, you want to import the BIOS.7.bin. BIOS9.bin, same as I think. Go inside of your browse section, go inside of that folder we just downloaded everything in, and go ahead and import that particular file. So right here, you should be able to find that BIOS9 file that we just downloaded right there, so you can just bring in that same one. And same thing with firmware.bin. Find that file, bring it in, and that's really all you're going to have to do. It really is that basic. Those are the files you want to bring in. If you have any other questions or you're running into any problems, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.